Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. I want my audience to know I'm talking to Shannon Brown. He's the senior VP of the Eastern Division of the U.S. Operations and Chief Diversity Officer at FedEx Express. Boy, what a title, Shannon. Kind of heavy there. Well, thank you, Val. I've been around for a long time. So uh, it's just uh, something that I work myself into. Okay. So let's talk a little bit, because, you know, there's been some reported labor shortages again across America. I know why there's labor shortages, but I'm not we're not going to go into that conversation. What are the biggest challenges facing you hiring managers? Well, right now, uh, Valda, with the increase in demand for online shopping or e-commerce, that uh, we all have now gotten spoiled with packages coming directly to our homes. And that demand has uh, driven the need for hiring, especially at FedEx and our sort locations and our locations where we pick up and deliver packages. And so with that is we have just had to really accelerate our hiring needs and really accelerate what we do best at FedEx and that's taking care of our people. And also providing excellent compensation packages from salaries and wages to uh, benefits to ensure our employees know that number one, we care about them, and number two, we engage them. And then number three, Valdo, what we want to ensure our employees know that there's something to deal for them and they can continue to grow within this organization. When you say you guys take care of your uh, employees, are your salaries comparable to what the world is demanding from us as people living on the planet? Yes, yes, it is. Tell me about that. Well, I mean, we do a market analysis on, you know, all of our salaries and we make sure that we're competitive in the marketplace. Uh, in order to attract b- b- the, uh, good people, you have to be uh, ensured that you're competitive from a salary standpoint and benefit standpoint. And so uh, we continue to do that as we've always done that, you know, I've been here for 43 years and, and that's what kept me here, that the company cares about me as a person and allowed me to grow as a, uh, as a employee within this organization. And so we continue to do that. So when new team members join FedEx, that they know that this is more than just a job. Uh, it is an opportunity for them to begin a career with a great organization. Okay, so how can other companies may not be as big as FedEx since you guys seem to have tapped into a solution to it? How do they get new employees on board? Well, I don't want to give them all the secrets because we out there uh, <laughs> uh, competing for the same employees. But what I can say is the employee is the most valuable resource in any organization. And so how you treat that employee and how you allow the employee to feel uh, uh, within your organization. And the second thing you need to do is you got to have make sure you have your, your leaders in your organization, and especially your frontline managers, being able to be communicate uh, to your employees to, to make sure they know uh, what the company has to offer. Uh, listen to their ideas and then allow them to understand that as we do at FedEx, that there's growth potential for that person. Okay. Now, I know we're talking about growth potential of the human aspect, but since FedEx is one of the leaders, how are you guys dealing with the use of fossil fuel? Do you have electric vehicles or something? Or are you just adding more fossil fuel vehicles to your fleet? Well, you can go to our website. We just made a huge announcement of, of electrification of our fleet. Uh, uh, the donations that we made to Yale University to deal with this issue. But all that information is really on our FedEx website. And you can get anything that you need on our strategies to deal with that. 
And if somebody's listening to this, because I'm heard all over the United States and abroad, and they want to get a job at FedEx, how do they get to you or get to the job pool? We would love to have them to join this wonderful organization. And they can just go to careers.fedex.com. I want to thank you so much, Shannon Brown, and congratulations on being a long-term employee. You're quite a, quite a guy there. You've been there quite a while. So thanks for being my guest on the Valderibi Show also. Well, thank you very much for having me, and, and the best to you, and have a great day. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.